Whenever an object moves through a fluid, or a fluid flows past an object, uh, the, experience, the object will experience a drag force. Uh, by fluids, I mean liquids and gases. So why, why does this happen? Because there's particles in the fluid, and they collide with the object, and when they rebound off, they experience a change in momentum. And if there's a change in momentum, there's a force. Okay, the object uh, will experience a force in the opposite direction to the direction in which the particle will experience force. So the particles will experience a force in this direction, and the object will experience a force in the opposite direction, equal and opposite. Okay, Stokes' law will allow us to calculate the drag force to an object. So Stokes' law says that the drag force, which is going to be in the opposite direction to the motion of the object, so this object is moving downwards with velocity v, and it has a radius r, um, and is flowing through this fl uh, fluid with a viscosity of eta. This symbol is eta, and it represents the it's called coefficient of viscosity with the units newtons uh, per meter squared seconds or pascals seconds and this here is a formula and 6 pi is of course a constant times the viscosity times the radius and the velocity a droplet with a radius of 4 micrometers falls through air the viscosity of the air is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 determine the drag force on the ball when it is falling at a speed of um, 3.2 meters uh, times 10 to the 5 meters per second okay so we just simply use the equation force f drag is equal to 6 pi eta r v which is 6 times pi times 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 times 4 and you turn that into meters so 4 micrometers into meters and 3.2 times 10 to the minus 5 and that gives me 4.34 times 10 to the minus 14 meters per second. Oh, sorry, newtons. Which is quite small, but that's correct for a particle as small as this. The drop, the same droplet, um, has a mass of 2.57 times 10 to the minus 13 kilograms. Determine the vel terminal velocity of the droplet. So if it's falling at its terminal velocity, that means the force on it are balanced. That's why it's traveling at a constant speed. So the, if it's falling down because of gravity mg that is balanced by the drag force f drag so the equation for terminal velocity is mg equals 6 pi eta radius times the terminal velocity so I'm going to uh, make the uh, terminal velocity subject so I get mg over 6 pi eta r and if I put the numbers in uh, so I'll have as a 2.57 times into minus 13 times 9.81 over 6 times pi times 1.80 times 10 to the minus 5 times 4 times 10 to the minus 6 I get 1.8 6 times into minus 3 meters per second so almost a mil uh, just over a millimeter per second an oil droplet falls through air at a steady speed of 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5 meters per second the density of the oil droplet is 950 kilograms per meters cubed the viscosity is given determine the radius so if it's falling at terminal velocity it's the same situation as before mg equals f drag um, so but the thing is we've got we've been given the density and we want to figure out the radius we have the speed the terminal speed and we've got the viscosity so the thing is we've got a density of the droplet so what is density so we don't have its mass so we can work that out by using the volume it's a sphere so 4 pi r cubed is a volume and if you multiply the volume by its density, you get the mass. So here we have the mass. And I'm going to multiply that by the gravitational field strength. So that gives me mg, which is the weight. I'm going to make that equal to 6 pi eta r 
v t a terminal velocity okay if i rearrange this for r well i can cancel out one r from both sides so i've got a two here instead cancel out a pi from both sides and i'm going to rearrange for r now so i'm going to bring the three to the other side so if i bring that to the other side i get 18 eta vt and then divide by four rho and g that gives me r squared so i'm going to square root both sides this can be simplified as nine okay now i'm going to put the numbers in if i put the numbers in square root of 9 times 1.8 times into minus 5 times 5.5 5 times into minus 5 over 9.81 I should get 1.63 times into minus 7 meters which is 1.63 micrometers